The Ferris wheel was carrying its first load of riders of the day when something went terribly wrong. 14-year-old Kenneth Marjoram was in a car alone on the ride when witnesses say it broke loose and he fell 60 feet to the ground. Elaine and Patty Riggy of Niagara Falls were next in line. After that, they say pandemonium broke out. Everybody was just hysterical, screaming, and you know people were running. Nobody knew where to go. We just we were in shock. Marjoram was pronounced dead on arrival at Kenmore Mercy Hospital from massive head injuries. Investigators from the Sheriff's Department and the New York State Labor Department spent the afternoon inspecting the ride, trying to find out what happened. So far, we have not found any items that have been broken. There's a possibility that something did slip off, but as yet, we don't know for sure. Some people who witnessed the accident say the Ferris wheel had been closed for about an hour after the park opened this morning while workers replaced two cars that had been taken off. Now, whether one of those cars was the one involved in the accident, investigators are trying to figure that out. There, the normal procedure is uh, you take uh, two cars off the ride to uh, keep it from turning in the wind and uh, then they're reinstalled in, in the morning before we open. Fry says Fantasy Island has a spotless safety record and he's never had a tragedy like this one in the 30 years he's been in the business. Ironically, it was a year ago today that three Fantasy Island employees were hurt while inspecting a ride when someone accidentally turned on a switch. Fantasy Island remained opened after today's accident, but those who witnessed the tragedy say they now have a very different feeling about amusement rides. I feel sick. I don't think I'll ever go to an amusement park again, taking my life and my children's life. You know, and it could have been us. It could have been us we with our little ones. As for the Ferris wheel, it stands motionless until investigators figure out what went wrong. On Grand Island, Lisa Flynn, Eyewitness News.